Hello and welcome to this wet log in Rainy Regents Park right now. I want you to know how dedicated I am that I'm out here in the rain. And if you spend the next two minutes with me, it might change your life. What we're talking about here is the wet fish handshake. And I can't believe that people don't even know that you need to shake hands in a certain way. Why are we even talking about this now? And yet there are people out there who do grab your hand like, like this. I'm obviously not talking about people that can't grip with their fingers. I'm talking about people which are able to grip with their fingers. All right, why is this important for us to talk about? Number one is because it is an important first interaction you're likely to have with someone. And this applies to women as well as to men. This ain't no sexist men only video, yeah? There's a certain way that you shake hands which conveys trust. And there's a certain way you convey hands on either side of that, which makes people think, Jesus, I cannot stand to be around this person. The first one is if you go in for a handshake and the other person comes in, you grip their hands nice and suddenly it's like holding a dead fish on the other hand. Everyone knows this one. These people, you should tell them quietly and nicely, this isn't the way to operate. The other one is when someone comes in and they aggressively try to dominate you. Maybe you felt someone turning your hand. You guys are getting a bit wet. Bear with me one second. I have prepared this. Look at this action. Oh, that was disappointment. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. That's better. Now you're not getting wet. It's just me. That's how nice I am to you guys. Should have sorted this out. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like this. So the second one is when someone grabs your hand so tightly and they try and bend it over. That's a real authoritarian dickhead move actually sorry for the explicit but that is what it is it's a bit of a dickhead move what does this do this basically tells people i am not to be trusted why is that because the handshake is often the first physical contact that you make with someone and to go beyond verbal contact and actually make physical contact especially back in the days where it was a bit more dangerous to be around other people, the physical handshake was a real sign of me and you can trust each other. And that's why it's so important to get this right, because if you don't, you're gonna look, well, it's not that you will look silly, which you will, you will look silly if you shake like a wet fish. But more than that, every handshake that you do, people won't trust you, they'll leave that they'll leave that situation they'll think I'm not sure I'm not sure if this person can handle what I need them to do I should say it is there are some situations where it's different for a woman but I think it depends on entirely what woman you are and what you're trying to portray there's an elegance to a simple light handshake but there's also something transferred by being elegant and also firm you can do both and that's why this isn't just for men how do you do it then okay so you go up to the person don't jump in too hard because you'll miss them and you'll, you'll try and grab their fingers or you'll grab their fingers maybe you miss for the wrist um, Look them in the eyes, grab their hand, grip firmly, but not aggressively. You want to grab their hand, so if they were to pull back slightly, it takes a millisecond or so for you to, for the hand to come out. It doesn't just slip out. And that's where the second bit comes in, which is timing. Where if you don't time it right, they pull back. This is simple, but the, 
some people haven't been told this. If you grip too tightly and you don't time it right, there's a moment where they pull back and you still got hold of their hand or, the, or vice versa. That creates another threatening situation for a person because that's almost like the trust bond has been broken. That's a threatening move there to hold onto the hand. You see people like Donald Trump do this. I don't know what kind of kicks they get out of it. Um, so yeah, why is this important? This is important because it's a trusting first interaction, often the first physical contact you will have another human being, and it is an important milestone to get over in your relationship. What is the problem? The problem is either you're a wet fish or you're too aggressive. It's perfectly in the middle. How do you do it? Slowly in, massive eye contact, nice shake of the hand, don't do it too long, don't grip too tight, don't grip too soft. Time the release. So you see their body language change and time the release. Another bonus tip here is, if you shake one person's hand in the group, make sure you shake every single person's hand in the group and introduce yourself as, what's your name? Greg, hi Greg, Alex, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Alex, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. That will make you stand out because you have the confidence with being respectful in your hello. Don't do it if there's 20 people there and you're wasting someone's time, but you have the confidence that you can comfortably introduce yourself to everyone in the room. This shows that you are not threatened by group situations. This is seriously important, guys. If you, if you are a wet fish, that's what I'm really talking to here, the aggressive ones, I don't care about. If you're gonna be aggressive, I'll just avoid you. If you are a wet fish, you are letting yourself down. Don't be a wet fish, always add value.